economic development starts with small businesses for the most part. So we're really focused on sort of letting a thousand flowers bloom in Atlantic City and having small business after small business. From the ground up, Tennessee Avenue is transforming into something that even Atlantic City has never seen. You start with one block, really focus on that, and then sort of build from that. Block by block, store by store, the left alone properties along the avenue are changing before our eyes. Bought by Authentic City partners, Sanchez and his co-workers are helping future business owners bring their unique ideas to the changing city. All of the buildings that we have so far have been abandoned buildings. So they're all vacant. Some of them were former restaurants or bars and some of them were uh, residents. And we're basically sort of converting them all, bringing them back to life as part of the Tennessee Avenue Renaissance. Coming this fall are four unique businesses in addition to the Atlantic City Ballet, Leadership Studio, a nonprofit yoga and leadership practice, The Ten, which makes up a beer hall and garden. Made a chocolate factory and wine bar, and finally, Heyday, a coffee and ice cream shop. There's definitely a big need for these types of concepts, so we really want Tennessee Avenue to be a destination, a go to place that people are coming to and sort of finding things that are re really unique, that are Atlantic City specific, and that you're not going to find uh, anywhere else. With construction already underway, Sanchez and his partners are encouraging small businesses to join the movement as they develop more properties to contribute to this urban development. Now is a great time. There's a Renaissance, there's a different energy in Atlantic City. We really wanted to be part of that. Helping move Atlantic City forward with each business, block, and district revitalizing. I'm Nina Barati for SNJ Today.